Carson and I are going to Disney. We're leaving on Saturday. And I just wanted to do a little video for you guys showing you basically what I pack in my makeup bag and bathroom bag for a trip to Disney. So let's start. And just to keep in mind, we do not check a bag when we travel. We typically um, just pack everything in backpacks and one carry-on suitcase for the both of us for seven days. <laughs> so I pride myself on packing very efficiently and very in like minis. Basically everything is a mini. So to start off, I am bringing what probably most people think is way too many, but I think, you know, that's fine. I bring multiple different BB creams. I sign up for Birchbox, so I get a whole bunch. Most of these are not all the way full. I think this is the only one that's unopened. I bring these with me literally everywhere I go. They are, one's a little bit darker, one's a little lighter. Love it. It works great for me. Just put a little color on my eyelids. I also am bringing my Bare Minerals Concealer. Just a stick concealer. It's not my favorite, but it does the job. It covers everything up that I need it to, so it works. I am bringing the Benefit brand, their Real Mascara, but this is my tried and true. Obviously, you can see I've used a lot of it. This Tula Face Filter Primer freaking amazing it has it like covers up everything it's almost like a foundation before you have to put on foundation it's freaking awesome if you've never tried it I recommend you trying it because it literally looks like your makeup's done if I just want to have a light makeup day I always use it and then I'm also bringing my other two Tula obsessions I guess I should say so this one is like a rose gold kind of a stick um, I usually just put it here on my cheekbones before I put on my foundation. So it kind of just, it still makes you a little bit glowy and dewy. I found that if I put it on after my foundation, it like rubs the foundation right off. I use this, this is their Glow Hour. I put it on after. I put this on after, or I put it on under my eyes before I put on my foundation. It's amazing. Um, the orange color kind of takes the dark circles under my eyes away, which is something that I desperately need. Um, I'm obviously bringing deodorant. I just like to bring a little mini. Um, this is my Moisture Surge Nighttime Mask. So I put this on before I go to sleep so that way my skin is not like dying in the morning. Um, let's see what else I have in here. I've got my toner. I just put it in this little bottle because it makes it where I can take it as a carry-on. Um, I have a backup mascara in case I don't like the way my lashes look one day. Setting spray because you're going to sweat the entire time you're at Disney World. I will be showing you guys everything that I wear, how I pack it all so that way we can travel with one carry-on suitcase and two backpacks for seven days with two people. So. Um, I kind of take pride in the fact that I'm a really good packer, um, but I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, I am starting to pack all the clothes and I was just going to film it all for you guys so you can see how two of us can pack for Disney World for, I think we're going to be on seven days and one carry-on suitcase and two backpacks. So. I've got kind of everything laid out on our kitchen table right now um, that we're packing. I've got my backpack in the seat. Um, Carson's backpack is right over here. And then our suitcase is on the floor. So I'm going to walk you guys through with like what we are wearing each day and just everything like that. And I'm going to show you kind of how I pack to save space. Obviously, I use packing cubes like crazy. They're amazing. Um, but I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you guys what we are going to wear. So let me flip it around. I will find the shop and I'll link it below. But, world traveler, we're going to Epcot our first day. It's going to be so cute. So that's what we're going to wear on the plane on the way there to our first day at Disney. 
Our second day though, we are going to Magic Kingdom. We're spending Valentine's Day there. And here is what our little Mickey shirts look like. Part of the way that I can pack so efficiently is in the shirt, I fold in his socks and his shirt and his, I pack in his socks and his shorts. So, folding all that in there, and then it all goes into one packing cube, which can then fit in the suitcase really easily. So, as you can see, that shirt, so both of our shirts, both pairs of pants, two pairs of socks, two pairs of underwear are all packed in this little, this little guy. And so then I will take it, oh, bags is feeling playful, and just put it in here. Here's our magic bands, which we will wear on the first day. But I like to keep everything just like in the carry-on suitcase that's like clothing since you don't have to really take that out during uh, the security part. So we're gonna move on to the next one. So for the next one, I'm going to be wearing, or Carson's gonna be wearing to infinity, I'm and beyond. This is gonna be for Hollywood Studios Day. Okay, for our second day at, or for, yeah, our second day at Hollywood Studios, I've got this super cute shirt I got on an Etsy store. It's like a sparkly black, and then it's got like the Disney castle with the Millennium Falcon flying over it, and then the back, I'm trying to do this one-handed, it's a little hard. The back says, Chewy, we're home. So, all you Star Wars fans, this is so cute. I'll link the Etsy store below because she's got so much cute stuff on her site. Alrighty, now, this is the bag that's going to show both of the Hollywood Studios outfits. So there's two outfits complete in there. So leggings, socks, underwear, bra, everything is in here for two days for myself and one day for Carson. So three days worth of outfits in this little packing cube. Okay, so for our um, second Magic Kingdom day, we are going to be wearing this little shirt. We have matching ones. Mine's already in the bag. But it's going to say today is a core memory day. I'm going to fit both of the shirts as well as both pairs of pants, underwear, everything like that in this packing cube for our second Magic Kingdom day. So that'll all be packed in that little cube. Okay, so to update how the suitcase packing is going so far. So this is everything that I've showed you that I've packed, minus I have this little pouch here that is basically just extra pairs of underwear and a couple extra pairs of socks. In case it rains or something like that, we have something extra. And so in this little compartment, which is I have a completely empty other half, in this little compartment, I have four complete outfits for myself and I have three complete outfits for Carson. So in the other half, I will be getting the rest of his, which I think it should just be two more outfits for myself and three outfits for him on this side. And then all the clothes will be done. I'll also show you the extra pair of shoes I'm bringing. I'm not quite sure what Carson's gonna bring, so I'm sure that'll go over here too. So for our day at Animal Kingdom, I have these matching gold shirts. I also got these on Amazon. I'll link the seller below, but we've got a cute leopard mini and a leopard Mickey on just like a black Bella canvas shirt. Um, yeah, it'll be two complete outfits and another packing cube. So in the packing cube with the little leopard Mickey and mini, I've got a lot of extra room in this packing cube. So I'm just gonna kind of leave it open for now and see if I maybe have something else that I could fit into it um, to kind of just make best use of the space. So for our last day, this is the shirt we're gonna wear. We're gonna actually be at Universal Studios, our last day of our trip. So we got this Harry Potter themed shirt. It has our wedding anniversary on it. I think it's kind of cute. Okay, so here's the second half of the suitcase. This is a pair of shoes and extra socks for myself. That's a pair of shoes for Carson. 
We've got those shirts and the packing cubes over there. We've got some ponchos in there. Other than that, we're all packed in the suitcase for all the clothes, all the shoes, all the socks, all the underwear. Everything we could need for the entire trip is in this carry-on suitcase for both of us. And so I'm just going to show you guys like our bathroom stuff is all going to go in a backpack. Um, and I'll show you guys how that's all fitting. Okay, so I've got this little, basically a little pharmacy bag. It's got Tylenol, Tums, Advil, and tons of Germex because we have to stay germ-free on this trip. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm going to pack in my main part of my backpack. So for starters, I have my makeup bag. It's got makeup, all my bathroom essentials, basically. Um, all in this little bag, I'm gonna put it in the backpack because if you guys have ever just done carry-ons before, you know all of your makeup products, anything liquid, food or electronics have to be taken out of the bag before it goes to scan, which is why with our suitcase, I just have clothes. So that way we can just send that right on through with no issues. Um, I have this, which has like any hair products that I would need um, in there. And again, everything has to be under three ounces if you do a carry on. Um, I also have this, this is basically my um, first aid kit. So it's got like Advil, ibuprofen, um, just all that kind of stuff, Germex, anything like that that you would need. I have that in there. I also have my vitamins, so that way I can stay healthy, take all those every day. And last but not least, we have our snacks. I have found that whenever we go to Disney, we have a long day at the parks, and let's say we go back to our room and all of a sudden we're hungry. It's hard to be able to go anywhere and buy snacks. So we always just bring a couple. We've got like grips, granola bars, um, Carson has some Slim Jims, and peanut butter crackers. Just something for if you're hungry at the hotel room, you can grab something quick to eat or like if you're at the airport, anything like that. You just have something quick you can snack on. So that's all gonna be in the main zipper of my backpack. That way, whenever I have to get all of this out for the scanner, it's just really easy to have. So, that is the main pocket of my suitcase. This bottom part is gonna be things like my sunglasses will go in there. I wear prescription sunglasses in the sun. Um, that way, I can see and don't have to wear contacts. My eyes just get really irritated. So anything that I just want to bring for entertainment or just little things here and there will go in this front pocket because I won't have to take it out. Okay, so I'm also going to show you what we're going to pack in our day backpack for like going to the parks at Disney. So first things first, we have a just a small backpack. Uh, it makes it easy when you're getting on rides and all that kind of stuff if you just have a small one. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is a water bottle. Water gets so expensive at Disney. We were not prepared last time and I think we spent probably $100 on water bottles while we were there. It gets pretty warm in Florida even in the winter time and you just, you just spend a lot of money on water. So what we did was we bought this one. It's one of the insulated ones just from Walmart. It's like $10 and we put a little straw in there. That way we can stick it behind our mask <laughs> and be able to walk around and drink at the same time because the rule at Disney is you have to be stationary in a way, like six feet away from people to be able to drink. So we wanted to make it where we could still wear our masks and drink water all at the same time. So this will make it easy. Also, you can get water free at Disney. Um, there's water fountains in a lot of places and at most quick service restaurants, you can ask for um, like a cup of water and it's free and so you could just put it in your water bottle um, so that way it stays colder longer. We're also bringing an umbrella. These are a must. We also learned this the hard way the last time we went to Disney. So not bring ponchos or an umbrella and of course you get stuck in a rainstorm. It's actually supposed to rain almost every single day we're there. Um, we'll keep you guys kind of updated on what the weather and everything was like. Um, the next thing we're doing is our Mickey ears. This is actually one of our creations for basically us walking around and being able to drink. So the bottom of the straw goes in your drink. You can wear the ears. Oh, not actually on my head. You can wear the ears and drink while this half is in your cup. So if you're going around Epcot or 
you're in Hollywood Studios and wanting to drink your blue milk, this is what you can wear. So this is actually self-creation, so I can't really link it for you guys, but if it's something you want to see, let me know in the comments. Um, we are also have our ponchos in here, so that's nice to have in our next pocket. We've got portable Advil and Excedrin. You don't want to get stuck there with a headache, so we brought plenty, as well as our cloth masks. So like this one matches the ears. We've also got Toy Story. We've got uh, the Lion King, more Toy Story, more Lion King, a Minnie Mouse one. So we've got plenty of cloth masks, as well as we're gonna bring some of the medical kind of masks as well. Um, down here in the bottom, this is where the vlogging camera is gonna go. Um, and then this little zipper pocket, it is currently holding our, I'm not sure where the GoPro went, but right now it's, oh, there's the GoPro. Um, we've got our GoPro and this mount. The mount is gonna go on the strap of the backpack so I can get lots of B-roll while walking around or I can put it on while we're riding a ride and we can just show what it all looks like. So that'll be super fun. And last but not least, with this will be a super handy tip that I've heard from a bunch of people and I also highly recommend is portable chargers and charging cables. You have to use your phone for almost everything at Disney, so you literally can't let your phone die, otherwise you may not know how to check into your reservation because all that's online. You can't do mobile ordering, that's all online. Everything you have is online. Your ticketing system, your park passes, if anything fails like on your magic band, have to have your phone. So, um, it's great not to let your phone die. If you wanna do Rise of the Resistance, that boarding group and all that kind of stuff is all on your phone. So, that is what we have packed in our park backpack. Hello everyone. So I just got done packing the rest of our stuff for Disney. Some of the stuff that I just, the odds and ends that I added were like my straightener, my curling iron, like my wireless headphones. Um, we have our, um, we've got our magic bands that we are going to wear the day of. Um, but yeah, we've got everything packed up. And we are ready to leave for our trip on Saturday. It is Thursday night. Tomorrow night we are going to go see some friends and have dinner, play games, that fun stuff. And so um, we will be doing that. So we need to be all packed tonight. Carsh, do you have anything you want to say? He looks sleepy too. <laughs> One more work day. <laughs> One more, one more work day. We get a week off. We're so excited. I'm so ready. I'm sure you guys can see. I literally have bags under my eyes. I have not been able to sleep in the last few days. It's been rough. I'm, I'm ready for a vacation. Bad. So we're so pumped to go to the most magical place on earth. I am actually about to go downstairs and post a YouTube video now and maybe roughly edit this one but who knows so make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to the channel um i am just really excited to start posting new content every thursday talk to you guys later bye